Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is entrance exam questions about patterns. Let's proceed to problem number one. What is the last digit of 3 to the 1201? If you're going to solve 3 raised to the 1201, it will take you hours before you're able to solve it. Imagine multiplying 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81 times 3, 243, and so on and so forth, 1201 times. So it might even take you a whole day. Now, they ask these questions because there is a shortcut in getting the last digit. All you have to do is to look for a pattern. Okay, let us see what the pattern is. 3 to the 1 gives you a 3. Right? What is 3 squared? 3 squared is 3 times 3. This is 9. 3 cubed. Or 9 times 3 is 27 okay so we're only interested of the last digit so we don't have to write two here the last digit is 27 is seven rather seven the number is 27 the last digit is seven 27 times 3 is 81 so the last digit is one we have an eight here if we continue three to the fifth 81 times 3, 1 times 3 is 3. It's actually 243. And then 3 to the 6, 243 times 3, times 3, it will give you a last digit of 9. 729 actually. 3 to the 7, 9 times 3 is 27, carry 2. So the last digit is 7. Then 3 to the 8, times 3 again, 7 times 3, 21, carry 2. So you, so you can see that there is a pattern. 3, 9, 7, 1. The pattern is 3, 9, 7, 1. So what does that mean? How do we get the last digit here? The pattern repeats after the fourth time you multiply 3. Therefore, we have to divide 1,201 by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 4 will give us a 12. And then this is 0. So that would be 0. Bring down 1. 1 divided by 4. So that would be a 0 again. We have a remainder 1. There. If the remainder is 1, that would mean that the last digit is 3. This gives you a remainder equal to 1. If the remainder is 2, your last digit is 9. If the remainder is 3, your last digit is 7. If it is no remainder, if there is no, no remainder, then your last digit is 1. Now. You can also take a shortcut here. Remember, 1,200 is divisible by 4. It is divisible by 4. So therefore, obviously, your remainder is 1. This is your remainder. So if the remainder is 1, your last digit is 3. So our answer is letter B. So. Let us say we have here uh, 3 to the 407. What does that mean? Hmm. 404, remember, is divisible by is divisible by 4. So 407 minus 404 is 3. So your remainder is 3. Is 3. Therefore, your last digit, your last digit when the remainder is 3 is 7. 
there. You can use divisibility by four. Next, problem number two. What is the last digit of two to the 2002? The same thing happens here. You look for a pattern. Two to the one gives you a two. Two squared gives you a last digit of four. Two cubed is eight, so it's the last digit. Two to the fourth is 16, the last digit is six. Two to the fifth is 32, so the last digit is 2. 2 to the 6, 32 times 2, that's 64. Last digit is 4. 2 to the 7, there. 4 times 2, 8. 6 times 2 is 12, 120. And 2 to the 8, there. 8 times 2, 16. Or 256. So what do you observe here? There. You observe the pattern repeats again after the fourth time you multiply two your last digits will be two four eight six therefore what do we do we divide again the exponent 2002 by 4 20 divided by 4 is 5 5 times 4 is 20 Subtract, you get zero, then this is zero, then this is bring down two, there zero, so you have a remainder of two. Now, if you have a remainder of two, that would mean your last digit will be four. Why four? Your last digit is two if the remainder is one. Your last digit is four if the remainder is two. Your last digit is 8, if your remainder is 3, and if there's no remainder, no remainder, your last digit will be 6. So in this case, your remainder is 2, so your last digit will be 4. There, our answer here is letter B. Now, let's say you don't want to divide like this, what do you do? You just use the divisibility of 4. 2,000. 2,000 is divisible by 4. Why? A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are 0, 0. It is divisible by 4. So therefore, what is your remainder? Your remainder is 2. Why? Why 2? 2002 minus 2000 gives you a remainder of 2. So if the remainder is 2, there, your last digit is 4. See? There. And take a shortcut. Now, what about problem number 3? What is the 3,000th day from Wednesday? Is it a pattern? Is there a pattern from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Then you go back to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Yes. There is, therefore, what do we do with 3,000? We divide it by 7. Why 7? There are 7 days in a week. So let's divide this. 30 divided by 7 gives us a 4. 4 times 7 is 28. There. 30 minus 28 is 2. Bring down 0. 20 divided by 7 is 2. 2 times 7, that is 14. 20 minus 14 is 6. Bring down 0. 60 divided by 7, what's the nearest number? 8. 8 times 7 is 56. You have a remainder of 4. Now, you start counting from Wednesday. Wednesday. The next day is Thursday. Then, Friday. Then, Saturday. Next is 
Sunday. There. One, two, three, four. Again, we start from Wednesday. The next is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The fourth remainder here is Sunday. So the correct answer here is Sunday. I hope I was of help to you. Before we end, let us remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. God bless you all.